So this video is brought to you by Skillshare, which is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Premium memberships give you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity or even career skills, this is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. I get loads of questions about how I film and edit, so I've picked out the perfect course to teach you from beginner all the way to pro in no time at all. Skillshare is also affordable when you compare it to in-person classes and workshops. Annual subscriptions costing as little as £10 per month. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, if you sign up using the link in the description, you'll get a two month free trial. So let's start this video. Hello, hello, hello. Man like Sid. Man like Ricky. How what are you? What are you saying, bro? I'm very well. How are you? Good, good. Jeez, it's, been, it's been what? couple years it, it has. well I mean since we've been planning to do a collab yeah it has I mean we've had a couple of cancelled ones in the past mainly yeah. you've been busy I've been yeah. busy two black people trying to arrange for yeah, nightmare isn't nightmare, it a logistical man. nightmare mm. I mean they, you know the government's <laughs> rubbish so could you imagine <laughs> could you imagine us two trying to sort it of course it's been it does feel like a while since where have you been you haven't been uploading our videos I've man I've been busy I've been busy just been doing work life being a, a normal person really yeah. without sliding cars back but I'm back I'm back with a load of videos <laughs> um, I know, I know. she is yeah so you've come in your GT4 so yes. uh, sorry for anyone that's unaware this is Sideways Sid he's a YouTuber uh, you probably have seen him on some of my videos uh, in the past if you're new to the channel uh, this guy is something else behind the wheel well, and I can idiotic. openly say that trust me this guy is on he's just yeah uh, rear end control on the car boy Sideways Sid, he's not called that for no reason. Yeah, yeah, started out as a nickname. <laughs> and how old are you? 22. 22, and guys, look what he's pulled up in. Porsche GT4. Cayman GT4, beloved Cayman GT4, love this uh, car. You, sorry, you just got rid of a Club Sport S? I had a Gold GTI Club Sport, well, car history's been wild actually. I had a Gold GTI Club Sport S, which I sold three to four months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, brilliant car, that, uh, loved it, done a few track days. Uh, I've had, I've had C63, WT04, I've, I've had this is my fourth Cayman. I had a Cayman R. I had a Cayman GT4 before that. Yes. I had a Panamera diesel. I had a couple of Range Rovers. I've had a Fiesta ST, which I love. You remember the Fiesta yeah, ST? Yeah, yeah. The, the infamous uh, <laughs> petrol station handbrake pull-up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but I've, I've got this. I've, well, yes. I had three cars and now down to one. And this is the car that I've been I daily pretty much. Mm. By so, the time you see this video, this car would have been gone. So let's go over what, what this car's about then. Because I just know it as like a baby GT3. Well, it's sort of a baby GT3 apart from the motor. So the engine's a 3.8 litre flat six boxer engine. Yeah. Um, it makes 385 horsepower. It's a familiar engine that you find from the 991.1 uh, Carrera S. That car makes 400 horsepower. This one makes 385. Right. Um, the whole rear suspension is completely different for the Cayman GT4. It's mainly to compromise for the engine. Um, it's got GT3 front suspension, uh, suspension on the front. I mean, it's fully adjustable as well. It's got adjustable... Uh, roll bars as well it's got an adjustable wing um, the Cayman GT4 is basically the baby GT car Porsche's range right. um, you know it's sort of I like to call the best blend between fully focused track car and a car that you can actually enjoy on the public road yeah. without getting yourself into too much trouble and you know it's, it's one of those cars that I've had for a while now I've done eight and a bit thousand miles hard miles mm -hmm. I've skidded it I go through tires like no one's business in here and I just adore it you know six-speed manual gearbox it's it's not the fastest car in the world, an A45 or an RS3 or stuff like that, you know, would muller it in a straight line, but mm -hmm. I'm not about that, I'm all about driving me. I love yeah. driving feel, I like how the car behaves, how it moves around you. This particular one, my car, it was racing yellow yeah. underneath, but I bought it like that. And then um, a few months ago, I decided to go for a liquid wrap. Uh, so this color is a Verde Pino uh, Ferrari color uh, that you'd find on like a, you know, a Pista or a TDF, uh, F12 TDF. Um, but I decided that this would work on this Cayman GT. So you've had what I've basically had done, you've had a color match kind Pretty of Pretty much, yeah, identical oh, to yeah, what's been done on your M4. Um, which is great and you know it looks like paint it yeah. behaves like paint you know it's applied like paint and um, it's been it's been peelable really yeah it's peelable, peelable yeah courtesy yeah. of uh, liquid wraps I've had it on the car um, it's been great actually it's been absolutely fantastic a couple of weeks ago um, some pricks decided to uh, smash both kick wing mirrors wall, yeah kick, yeah what, they decided was, yeah. to kick it uh, rip it off luckily the wing mirror is intact um, it was just a bracket um, but in fact the great thing about it was is uh, there was an indent um, on the side and um, in fact, it wasn't an indent, it was literally the dent of the wrap, um, which is quite cool. So okay. um, yeah, it was, it, 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 it was fully protected. But yeah, no, I love it, absolutely adore so, it. So is it your 
favourite car you've owned? Or? Yeah, it's, do you know what? It's uh, it's the fa it's my most favourite car I've ever owned. I yeah. mean, the next one is also going to be super, super different. And it's going to be super, super cool. Um, so is it is it like um, so you know you've got fun cars out there? Yeah, I know this is going to be fun, but is it a capable car as well? It's capable. It's it, capable. The Caymans. The Cayman platform is one of those cars that, if you're a bit of a hooligan, it can do that. If you're wanting track days and lap times, it can do that. If you want something to just enjoy the sonorous flat six, it can do that. Um, it's sort of the best of both worlds, really. Um, you know, the GT4, it's not too heavily compromised compared to a standard Cayman. Mm. Um, we're already on the, the next generation 718 Cayman. Yeah, I was about to say that, yeah. the new GT4. The new GT4, released, which is a four litre, um, you know, flat six. Um, again, you know, 400 odd horsepower. Um, they kept revised. it NA, yeah? Yeah, they kept it NA. Oh, sweet. Um, but it's running the OPF filters, which have to meet the uh, WLTP okay. emissions. What about gearbox? Gearbox is a six speed manual gearbox. Oh, that's a manual Yeah, it's a manual gearbox. Okay, box. I think Porsche are working on a PDK version. You never know; they might bring out a hardcore version of that yeah. car. But it's still, it's a lot of people think the the new GT4 is a four liter um, GT3 engine. It's not; it's a completely it? different version yeah. of that. And but interior yeah. wise, it's really nice inside. Yeah, as well, it's isn't it? um, it's more spec for comfort. So it's got the 18 way adjustable seats, comfort seats. You know, it's got the yellow stitching. It's got the Sport Chrono. You can spec this car with Club Sport Pack, which gives you like a roll cage and bucket seats. Mm. But I bought this car spur at the moment. Okay. It's one of those cars that I just decided to buy on the spot. I didn't go out there that day thinking that I was going to go back into a GT4 again. But I and like you said, you had a black one. Before, I had a black one as yeah. well, which I absolutely adored, and then um, sold that and then got this. And uh, yeah, well, no, I had a Club Sport S and then had this. And I've just decided to not move ever since. I just think it's fantastic. I, for me, what's next is GT3, but I can't quite afford one. Mm. But I'd like to try different cars out there, you know. So the next car is not going to be a Porsche. It's going to be something completely different. Ooh, I know. exciting. I know, exciting. I know what it is. I you know, know what, what it is. is and you're no quite shocked as well, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I am. Yeah, you are very quite shocked. shocked but, uh, Sid, let's get out in the car. Let's, let's go for a car. Burn this. Let's, uh, let's give it large. No, no, we've got to be careful, no, man. No, like, we, we, Ricky we, we, and Sid in the same car. What? We've got to be very careful. Yeah, I know. I've got to be a responsible adult. Yeah, you're I'm gonna your, play I'm dad. I'm your guardian today. How yeah, old are you, Sid? Uh, 22. That's what I'm saying, bro. You're gonna, you're gonna I'm play. I'm daddy today, your man. Daddy, yeah. <laughs> you're God. your daddy. Listen, man, daddy. <laughs> Come on, let's go for a spin. Let's go for a spin. Well, obviously, yeah, you know, keep it all PG. But last time I went out in the car with you, I tried to pull up a clear, but man, honestly. So yeah, man, the, the interior is just beautiful, isn't it? It's a, do you know what? It's a, it's a very, very straightforward, simple cabin. It lets you know the fact that you are in something that isn't your ordinary Cayman. But everything's very well laid out, you know, you've got proper tachometer dials, you've also got, you know, the typical, you know, Porsche rev counter in front, obviously they incorporated this uh, little LCD display on the side, yeah. um, obviously newer Caymans are a little bit more freshened up, but Porsche, they always slightly update their, their cars ever so slightly, you know, compared to BMW or, you know, Mercedes where you know you're in the next new generation car. Yeah, yeah. This, this is uh, very much, um, you know, a slightly updated thing. It's one of those ones, if it ain't broke, don't fix yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's what this car feels like. And it's all centered around the driver, you know, mm. nice Alcantara steering wheel, Alcantara gear knob, you know, seat position's nice and low, mm. you know, it's just, you know you're in something really nice. You've got a flat six behind you. I've got all the bits and bobs in my favorite settings, you know, sports exhaust on, traction control off. This is enough of that serious, you know, Chris Harris review shit, yeah? Uh, yeah I'm not Chris Harris. <laughs> no one's Chris Harris. I'm We've got Psycho Sid here. Psycho. I call him Psycho. Yeah, you no, do. Psycho Psycho Bob, check out the oh, Simpsons. I'm pulling up a screen. The shot. hair is it? I just think my hair died and that's it. Bit of a clown driver. <laughs> Look how easy that goes, it's over still though. Yeah, I know. This is a good car. For me, it's the noise. Oh jeez, yes. That sounds beautiful. Does it do the auto blip or It not? does. I mean, okay. I like to do it myself. You can, can you go into sport mode. Yeah, you okay. can turn it on now. And it right. does it all for you. This car feels like a glove, like a well-oiled glove, like a baseball glove. It's just so nice in your hands. 
but you can feel the whole car moving around you, you know, I mean, look, I'm, I'm staying within the speed limit, seriously, but you just feel like you're managing it, I mean, this is the most track orientated <laughs> Porsche they make, but it's still a genuine sports car. Since gone into Chris Harris, man. I haven't gone into Chris <laughs> It does, uh, you can't help but drive it. Yeah, see, it's another level. Look at how uh, well balanced the car is, oh, man. Just, and do you know what it does? It runs really well, even though you've got the GT3 suspension. <laughs> it does feel quick, though, doesn't it? It does feel quick. You can feel it's lacking a tiny bit of torque, obviously, it like does. that, but it gets going. What is the weight on this thing? Oh, I believe it's 30. It's not the lightest, but it's well balanced, you know, all the mass is centered around oh, you. The brakes. Yeah, the brakes, it's this car's got the optional carbon ceramics, which is a £6,000 option. Wow. Wow, sit, sit, sit. It's, uh, it's a good laugh, isn't it? God, it's just another level, man. <laughs> Feels nice and quiet on the inside. You open the window and you can literally, it, it just sounds like all manner of terror, I mean. Standard ones, my old GT4 had the standard steels and, and that had plenty of bite, but this. Ooh. And what does it rev to? Uh, it revs to 7.8. 7.8. Yeah. The only issue with this car that everyone mentions is the gear ratios. They are just slightly too long, you know. Where's the um, gearbox from? Is, I believe it's out of a 981 GTS. But the great thing about this car is, is you don't have to drive it like an absolute twat. You could just enjoy it for what it is. You can just enjoy the, the feeling of the steering as well. You know, don't get me wrong, it's not old school 911 in feel, but for an electrical system, an e-pass system, it just works. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, not really. Just, just 
Googling it really. Um, it'll probably blow up now. It's a bit tricky, a bit tricky to change the oil just because it's a mid-engine car. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I change the oil mainly because I drive the crap out of it. Yeah. So, you know, as you can imagine, I just want it to be tip top all the time. And you've had nothing. Nothing. Wow. No, no issues at all. They're a little bit worn. This is too much for LLF, man. Is, it, what, is this the first time you've this asked is, someone to stop? This is too much. Is this it? It's all, it's all legal. It's, it, it, it's all legal. 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 Like, yeah, you, you do need a bit of experience with 
mid engine cars. Don't get me wrong, it will look after you to a degree, but you know, it's yeah. it's not to be taken liberty, you know. So what is your plan anyway with the channel? Like, because you go quiet, you start doing videos, and then what, what, what are you up to? I know you say you're working at the moment. Yeah, I'm working, I work full time in sales, so, um, you know, used car sales for my day. Yeah, absolute nut job, psycho sitting night. <laughs> no, the, the overall plan, really, jokes aside, is to, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, make a living doing this. Yeah. Um, I love it. I love uh, coming out, you know, doing stuff with you and many others. Yeah. Um, and I love driving cars. Um, the channel, you know, Sideways it has a variety of different contents. You know, one minute we're doing high end production stuff, which is something you guys may have yeah. not, not seen the Lotus Cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, honestly, seriously, when I said, check his channel out. Yeah. Like, next level content. Appreciate that, thank you very much. But, like, guys, as it goes into oversteer, it's hanging on for dear life. You can feel it, don't want to let go. And at it the doesn't end, want to let go, when it does, like, it goes all the way out. Well, guys, I don't know how this video turned out, but hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And please, check out Sid's channel. Do you want to... Um, yeah, um, at Sideways Sid Instagram, Sideways Sid YouTube, Twitter, don't bother with that. But yeah, Sideways Sid. Check him out, man. Some seriously good content. Thank uh, you very so much. yeah, see you later, guys. Oh yeah, throw some suggestions what we should do next. See drag race. Drag race. Yeah, drag I race. M4 versus... Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. New yeah. car. Yeah. Guys, new car. New car. Next level. It'd be a good race. It'd be a good one. See you later, guys. Thank <laughs> you.